Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I thought you'd just like to see my little coaster sets that I've finished off. Uh, this was one set, this set of six, and this was the other set of six. Uh, I'll put links down below as to where I got them from. So these are my project one and project two for, oops, smashing the specials because I have actually done these in January. <laughs> rather than doing them before Christmas. Uh, my idea was to actually do them as Christmas presents, uh, but they didn't get done before Christmas. So yeah, they are still here and they do need sealing as well because you know, you, if you're gonna be putting a mug or something warm on them, they do need to have that seal over the top to just keep the drills in place. So let's have a look at the uh, little round ones first and the drills I had left over, which were quite a few. So we've got our lovely reindeer. I think these came out really well. I was really pleased with them. Really pretty to do as well. What um, I did was I did all the green in the background on these first and then I did all the red and then I just filled in with all the other little bits and pieces, all the other colours. But yeah, I just like the attention to detail on this, you know, even the little mm. uh, little highlight on Rudolph's nose there. I was going to do him a red nose and then I thought, no, because he's got red gloves and a red scarf. So I've left him with a little black nose. So he's just a reindeer. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty and the little snowflakes just coming down round him. And it's obviously windy as well because his scarf's blowing in the wind. And then we had the bells, which were getting pretty. Uh, I suppose if you had that one out... They maybe look like flowers rather than just snowflakes. So you could maybe um, just use that one all every day. Albeit, I don't think anybody would bat an eyelid if you had these out when it's not Christmas. But yeah, these will probably be sealed and put away until next Christmas. <laughs> okay, so that's the little Santa. And then this Rudolph has got a red nose. So we have got the matching pair. What I might do... Um, is, you know, if you were like, uh, had two people, uh, my, say, my brother and my sister-in-law, give them one each for Christmas, you know, just as like a, a little extra, like tree present, stocking fill or something like that, uh, or even put a mug with it, you know, just, just little extras. And I think once you've made it yourself, it's pretty to do as well, but it's a nice little thought. And then our little snowman, again, it's windy, but it's windy the other direction on this one. And the little Christmas tree. But yeah, I thought these came out really well. These are like the, they're like a ply board, I think. Um, looks like there's a few different layers compressed together. They're not MDF, I think they are like a ply board. And I do think if these get wet, that they are going to start, um, you know, peeling, cracking. So I, what I will probably do, um, and I will do it on camera, is seal the top with my Craft Buddy sealer the Craft Buddy Crystal Art Sealer and I think I may either varnish or use the Craft Buddy on the bottom as well so that the whole thing, even the edges are sealed um, and it'll just stop the water getting in there a little bit and make them last that little bit longer or you could attach a little hook to them and use them as Christmas tree decorations because they're quite nice. Uh, I had thought about putting them up on my wall because uh, I just think you know they were quite pretty there's like little pictures just do like a little set of them on the wall but anyway um yeah and these did come with the little stand which we did eventually work out that they go this way <laughs> after when i unboxed them and opened them i couldn't work out how the stand worked and that's how the stand works the stand like that <laughs> So that was your set of six. Really good fun to do. Really enjoyed doing those. And these are all the uh, gems left over. There was no specials, I don't think, in these. So they will just go into my standard colours for now. That's the silver to go in my silver jar. Yeah, so what I'll have to do, um, I have got my storage now set up for all my crystal gems. Um, I've got a DMC code for each of the different colours, or so I believe. Um, and yeah, so they haven't got DMC codes or anything, so I will have to get those sorted. So that's the silver to go in the silver. Now these are a little bit chunkier and a little bit different. I did like the idea that they are square. Um, and this one actually came with the uh, like sparklers as well. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can sort of catch. Um, these are the, 
they're normal no they haven't got any normal crystals these are like a gray type crystal here and then these have got like a sparkle so it's like a, an iridescent coating over the top of the clear and i just think they've come out really well again what i did was on all six is just literally go through and do all of the white first and get that out of the way because that was well what i would call the boring bit <laughs> But they all fitted on nicely and then I just went in um, and did the like colouring in bit as it were. But I just thought they've come out really well and I think for the price I paid, I think these these about ten, twelve pound. Again, I'll put the link down below. Um my brain's just not working today. <laughs> but I think they're lovely and I like the fact that they're square rather than round. Um Again, they came with the stand. Actually, I think this stand came with these. Yeah, this was the stand for these. The the round ones came actually with a metal stand, which I've now got to find. But anyway, as you can tell, I'm really organised. <laughs> but again, I will be sealing these. Um, these are actually acrylic and they came with the sticky back of the cork to put on them. So these will actually raise up slightly um, and they're not going to slip on, on your surfaces. So, you know, if you're, uh, you're putting a drink down on them, they're not going to slip as easy as it just, if it was just acrylic. The cork does just uh, give a bit of resistance to uh, them falling over or whatever. So, yeah, so that's 12 little coasters all done and ready to go. So I've got the sands with them, but I think I'll be splitting them up. Um, into different ones and giving them to different people my idea was you know to say to put them in with a mug or some sweets or something for uh, six different people or three different people but it just didn't quite work out this year but anyway so these are my smash in the specials entries so i've got some standard black i do like like the tartany um sort of plaid effect on this one and this one We've got like your check plaid effect on it. That's come out really well with the two different coloured reds and the black. I think that's really effective. And uh, yeah, I just think <laughs> they just make me laugh. Gnomes just really, really make me laugh. I think it's just the fact that even though all it is is like a beard and a nose, you just do seem to get a bit of a, like an attitude with them. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Anyway. So lots of colours, lovely, pretty, bright colours as well. Lots of the crystals left there. And oh, look, there's the twinklers or sparklers as they call them. So yeah, there are lots of those left to go in there. And then look how many white I've got left as well. I've got another bag of black there. I wonder if I've got those out of another thing. Hmm, I must have uh, put some different blacks in with this one as well. So they all want to sort out away in my other items okay. and let me just grab my jars I've got my jack black jar first which is filling up okay I'm putting black ones in here oops I'm not quite sure how long it will take me to fill this one i've got my scotty dog to do i'm going to make a list of all the crafts that i said i was going to do last year and uh, then i will start ticking them off try and get all the things done that i said i was going to do last year this year <laughs> anybody else got a list like that all oh, right i'll start off and i'm going to do this 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 and this and then it didn't get done unfortunately i'm not going to put those in because they're extra special but these can just go in the silver jar over halfway through now look so yeah it's uh, coming along nicely what i'm going to do with them when it's full i don't know i said i'm i'm looking out for like clear either plastic or glass things i did think at halloween to fill these up with uh from a skull and uh, do like a crystal skull but i never actually found one that i liked or that was suitable for what i wanted to do and i did say i was going to start a jar of whites so i have got some whites here as well so i'm going to put these in here okay, it just stops my other gems uh, and drills getting too full oops uh, the, the boxes and everything getting too full scissors 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 I had one extra pack look that I didn't even touch. So that's how many spare drills we had doing these little gnomes. 
nice white clear drills. Okay, sorry, I do apologise about this chair. I must stop moving around. I'll have to oil it or something. <laughs> Are there clear crystals as well? Yeah, I'll put those in. I might put those in. Oh, that's a white one that's escaped there. And then I'll just put the twinklers away. Okay. One. So there just seem to be quite a few different type coasters around at the minute. Right, I found out where I put all my twinklers. They're all in this little drawer section that I've got. And I have got a few different ones. So I'll just take those out a sec and have a look and see what matches up. There are those because some of them do you do get a slightly different shade in some of them. Yeah, you see they are actually two different shades. And yeah, that's a lot darker. So I think they are those. So I'm going to put them in there. Again, I've got no numbers or anything to actually categorise these. But uh, yeah, keeping them all whoops, sorted out and together now. I nearly lost them all then. And I've not put a tray underneath, which was very naughty of me. <laughs> okay, go on, get in there. The last few just don't want to come out. That's it. Okay. So that's those. They don't want to go in now. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.